All right, so some context that might help uh, the scene that you're reading. Um, so just before the scene happens, this is pretty much the beginning of the book, but right before the scene happens, um, Jojo, is, we just found out it's Jojo's 13th birthday. And this chapter is told from Jojo's point of view, because um, some of the chapters are told by other characters, mainly his mom, Leonie and uh, Ghost Richie. But this one's told from Jojo's point of view. And he and his uh, grandfather, Pop, have just gone out to the back and, and killed a goat to prepare his special birthday meal. Um, and as they're walking back into the house, uh, getting ready to cook, um, Jojo's memory is triggered. Uh, like just being in that exact space in that environment at the time, a memory is triggered about uh, his mom, Leonie, and his dad, Michael, fighting and what happens after that. So so that's where it is. We, we start there at the beginning of that flashback. Okay, so some things to think about as you're reading were, what are the big actions, reactions from Joan, Jojo and Leone? What motivates their actions? Like, why do they do the things that they did? And what moral dilemmas do you see present or emerging, right? Because you may not necessarily see a moral dilemma now, but you could see that one is coming, okay? So um, I think we see, in terms of actions and big reactions, we see that Leone deal with her big fight with Michael by taking time for herself instead of taking care of Jojo, right? Like she she doesn't, she's so upset that she cannot be a parent in that moment and she leaves uh, Jojo, even though there's no one else there, right? Um, Pap and Mam are, are at the doctor's because she's just found out about her cancer. And so Jojo's left alone. He's about 10 at this time. Um, we also see Jojo grow in fear from being alone and he goes running into the woods and as he runs, he can hear animals, things like that. Um, and in that time, because he runs off, he, he gets um, his foot cut, right? So his moment of fear, he runs and, and kind of Leone does the same thing, right? Except maybe she's not scared. She's upset. She might be scared that they just had a fight. Like maybe Michael's not coming back. Um, so yeah, they both kind of, run, but um, Leone leaving Jojo really affects him. He gets really scared to be by himself. We also say Jojo began to call Leone by her name instead of calling her mama. Okay. So those are the kind of the big actions in this scene. Now, what motivates those actions? Jojo is motivated to run because of his fears, right? He doesn't want to be left alone and being around his uncle. He doesn't and, and being by himself, right? And um, Jojo is motivated to stop calling Lily Mama because of her anger and her fear that she cannot be a, the mother that he needs, right? Um, and the text evidence for that is, you all right, huh, Jojo? And I looked at her and said, no, Leone. And it was a new thing to look at her rubbing her hands, uh, and her and her crooked teeth and her chattering mouth and not hear mama in my head, but her name, Leone. So that's the evidence that, um, that he is motivated to call her that because he no longer kind of sees her as someone who can take care of and pr protect him. He felt abandoned in, in that moment when she left and, um, and also he got hurt, right? So like all of his fears kind of came true that he wouldn't be safe. And because of that, um, he doesn't feel like he can call her mom anymore. He doesn't see her as a mom anymore. He sees her as Leone, okay? Person who can't be his mom. All right. So um, what moral dilemmas do we see present or emerging? And one I see here is whether or not Leone can choose between her needs and the needs of her children. Can she be the parent that Jojo and his sister Michaela need, or she can always run off and take care of herself when things get tough or she gets upset or she gets sad. Um, and this is the first evidence that, um, that this is happening, but we might know the fact that he still calls her Leone might be proof that, you know, like three years later, it might be proof that, yeah, that she can't do that. She can't put her kids needs in front of her. So that dilemma of whose needs are more important yourself or, or your, or your children. Okay. And an infographic to kind of hit home these layers um, is an iceberg. So 90% of an iceberg is underwater and you cannot see it, right? And so this part here is underwater. As you can see, I know I've covered it up with all these uh, places for text, but you can see the iceberg goes very, very deep. And the same is kind of the way you want to think about what we're saying about this text. So um, the 10% of the text is what they do, right? the actions and reactions, what is happening. The next layer under the ground is um, 
the motivation. Why are these characters doing that? And that takes some inferring, right? You gotta you gotta piece that together. And then the next layer down after that, even deeper, a thing you have to refer more is like, what's the moral dilemma that's happening here, or the moral dilemma that um, it, it, it's leading to based on the characters' actions and reactions. Okay, so how do these pieces all go together? And that takes another depth. So as you can see here, I just took those ideas that we had on the other slides and wrote them out here. And these are just notes for me um, it's to prove that, um, or to help me gather my thoughts and show like, yeah, I, I can see the actions, the motivations and the dilemma. And, and so the actions are above water, moral dilemmas are just, tr just like trying to be the next layer. And then, um, I'm sorry, the motivations is the next layer and the moral dilemmas the layer below. So if this helps you, you want to use this chart as you work through your, your text and your scenes and trying to piece those pieces together as well. All right, so that's some information about this particular chapter um, in Sing Unburied Sing, um, the motivations and the, the moral dilemmas. And now you're going to go ahead and look at your text and apply those same questions and kind of look for the same things. All right.